command it trans it uh, stands for translate so using uh, tr command so we can perform translations translations means so we can uh, replace a portion of string with some other string so we can convert uh, lower case letters to upper case letters so we can fold the letters so every kind of translation you can perform with the translate command okay so the translate command does not take any file name so if you want to supply file name so using uh, input redirection operator the file must be supplied okay so if you want to give file name as input file file name as input okay so in such case the file name file name must be given by using input redirection operator input redirection operator by using input redirection operator we have to specify the file name where the text you want to convert where we have the text to be converted okay so here the general syntax of tr command will be like this so translation means tr options tr options <coughs> criteria or replacement string cri criteria which you want to apply criteria and input file name input file name for example for example tr no options i am using here criteria my criteria is suppose a b this is a uh, replacement criteria so criteria are translated string anything here you can write so next one is uh, input file input file it can be any file like sample sample dot txt file what happens here every occurrence of a will be replaced by b every occurrence of a will be replaced by b so this is first uh, version next uh, second thing you can use a <coughs> and c every occurrence of a will be converted as c every that means every every replacement every occurrence of a will be replaced with c and the input file name is sample.txt okay so the processed data the converted data will be stored into some other file called sample one dot txt what happens here this becomes input file <coughs> input file and this becomes sample dot txt this becomes output file output file see what happens here <coughs> so actual text is there in sample dot txt so from sample dot txt each and every line will be considered so in each and every line if it finds a so that will be replaced by c so after a conversion the converted line will be stored into sample one dot txt means your sample dot txt becomes input file and uh, sample one dot txt uh, sample one dot txt becomes output file means uh, from sample dot txt the input is taken and con some conversions are performed after conversions uh, the converted data will be stored into sample one dot txt okay so in such way using this redirection operator this means uh, this is called as input redirection input redirection so directly it won't take file name as a argument so the file input file name must be given uh, by using input redirection input redirection next this is output redirection output redirection <coughs> input redirection and output redirection okay so just uh, i will show this on the system i will create one file create sample or test tr test tr here i will give you some letters this is uh, some text this is some other text this is <coughs> <coughs> line 
like this so you can apply now tr and uh, you can write like this <coughs> a or i Okay, here I will give T as O. So each occurrence of T will be replaced by O. Test TR. Like this, see. Everywhere, when it founds T character, that will be replaced by O. So here, first three T's are replaced by O's. Here also we have T. So in the place of T, O was replaced. Here also. some other text okay here also o was replaced this is line 3 like this replacement is done so you can have this output to some other file tr t o test tr so you can write this now i will again reconvert o to t O to T, test TR to test TR one. Now, <coughs> cat test TR, cat test TR one. Same lines means original data will not be disturbed here. <coughs> Once again, I will execute T O means again every replace every occurrence of T will be replaced by O, and the converted data will be stored into test T R one file. This to have a look. Now two are different files. Cat test T R one. This is one. Now this was converted. Converted data, and next cat test T R. This is. Uh, original file so from original file each t will be replaced by o and the converted data was stored into test tr1 file okay so this is about uh, tr command so tr command not only takes uh, file names as arguments it can also take input from keyboard so how to supply keyboard just have a look here tr and uh, i will say t comma i means every occurrence of t will be replaced by i now it is going to read data from keyboard it is ready to take uh, input from keyboard now this <coughs> test see converted every t uh, was converted to i so first line is this is t this is test so in the test two t's are replaced first t and here uh, three sorry Three T's are replaced. First T, next this T, and last T. So that uh, T was re the T's are replaced by I, and <coughs> any number of times you can invoke this. This is test two. See, every occurrence of T was replaced by I. Now at the end, so if you want to terminate, at the end just you type Control D. The process will be terminated. Means the DR command. Directly takes data from keyboard. So if you don't want to give data from keyboard, the file must be redirected by using input redirection operator. <coughs> Suppose a file contains like this um, some <coughs> student information. Student dot txt. <coughs> Here I have. Some names like KSK. <coughs> you take some other file. I will take some other file. Cat greater than imply dot txt. So in the txt, I am giving some data like name of the imply designation. Designation is something like manager and. Uh, some other string like abc uh, designation something like i am giving clerk 
and x y z and x y z is it is a suppose developer and l m n <coughs> is tester suppose <coughs> and give some other data raj and is cashier okay so this is a input file suppose i have given this data cat employee dot txt so this is original data now i am going to convert this okay using tr so within uh, single within brackets so here you have to specify the criteria so what is the criteria my criteria is small letters must be converted to upper case letters so to convert small letters to upper case letters the criteria must be given like this okay small a to z so this uh, range indicates uh, small letters okay so that that is a source uh, criteria next uh, that must be converted to upper case so you have to specify upper case letters z <coughs> the input file name is employee dot txt like this okay so the each and every letter was converted to upper case okay see the original data employee dot txt original data is in lower case letters the converted data was displayed on the output device now you can uh, redirect the output to some other file so how it can be redirected to some other file just we have a look tr small a to z close quotes uh, close double quotes and again give small uh, double quotes uh, upper case letters close brackets employee dot txt space okay no space is required and give output redirection and uh, specify the target file name as employee one dot txt this is a output file input file is employee.txt from employee.txt data will be taken and each and every character will be converted to upper case and the converted letter the converted text will be redirected outputted to employee1.txt file now see the two files cat employee.txt cat employee one dot txt this is converted information like this you can convert all file from one case to other case also using tr command this is very useful when you want to convert large amounts of text to uh, one case large amounts of text from one case to other case okay so manual conversion takes a lot of time but using tr command so you can convert entire data from one case to other case this is very useful when you have large amounts of data large amounts of data to be converted so this is about tr command so these are the important options of tr command okay